Hey guys, it's Dusty Baker with Cross Turners Bison. Welcome back to our show. Welcome back to our channel. Brooks and I are at Stillwater Milling in Davis, Oklahoma. That's where we get all of our feed from, all of our ranch supplies from. It's a great store. But I probably spend way too much time here actually, but you always want to try to get stuff for the animals and take care of them, don't you? Anyways, I'm going to get a couple of 12 foot gates. We're doing some work around the, the, the ranch, building some fence. And then also, bless you. And then um, I'm also going to get a hay bale holder, not a ring. Uh, it's kind of a something that they started selling here. It's heavy duty though. I want to try to save some of that hay because Big Joe has destroyed some hay bales, as you can tell, and spreads it out everywhere. And that's fine for that's good uh, hay to lay down on, some good bedding. But we uh, we wanted to save some of that hay and conserve it through the winter. So we're gonna get a hay bale holder. I guess that's what it's called. I really don't know what it's called. Typically, there you have rings, but this one's gonna be hoisted up in the air. So I don't know what how it'll work i'm sure he's gonna bang on it but it's heavy duty and that's one of the reasons i like it so we're gonna go in here and uh and get one of those and get it loaded up and head home got Brooks with us and we always got Maya with us. Hmm, Maya always wants to go. And Brooks. We are strapped and we're ready to head back to the farm. So Stillwater Millen's only like, I don't know, 25 minutes or so uh, all the way back to the Bison Ranch. So it's not very far, it's super convenient, but um, we're gonna put this out and see how it goes for sure versus uh, Big Joe. It is heavy duty. You can see those guys using a forklift to move that thing around. I mean, that pipe is looks like it's two and three eighths, maybe two and seven eighths inch pipe, heavy gauge. And uh, he'll bang it around some, but 
we'll see. The train's gone. All right, let's go home. I'll bet you anything Brooks falls asleep. Something about being in a vehicle smooths her out, smooths babies out. Okay, made it back to the farm. Got our heavy, heavy duty. It's called a hillbilly hay something. I don't even know what it's called. It's just whatever they said. I like the V-shape of it. And the gaps are not too big for the bison to get their head stuck. Daniel from Arms Family Homestead just got this for his goats. His goats can actually get their heads in there too and not get stuck, hopefully. You know how goats are. They're silly. But anyways, um, told you I thought Brooks would be asleep. Let's check her. Oh, oh. looky there. Who, who wants out? Come on. Hey, look who's awake. Oh, it's bright, isn't it? Hey, babe. Oh, did you get your nap in? Oh, look who's here. It's Daniel. Maya. So to get this hay bale holder in here, all the way down here where Big Joe and the ladies are, I've got to block the calves off, put them in this little area. I've got to shut this. I've got the main herd shut off from right over here through down there. And now I've got to go through this lane with the ATV. I'm going to pull it through there and then I can exit with the ATV down at the other end. So we're going to get in the pen with Big Joe and the ladies and with the ATV and we'll see how that goes.
Okay, we got them fed. Okay, bison, we got a bell of hay for the first time we're using this. We will see how it goes. I was kind of worried about the level, the height level. Big Joe is obviously tall. He can reach over it just like he's doing right now. I had a feeling he was gonna do that. But you like Kit here. You being feisty today? Tails up, okay. All right. And Flo, their level of what they were gonna do and how they were gonna handle it. There's room underneath for shorties like them and obviously room on the sides too. So we'll see how they do. What are you doing? Why are you all feisty? I just gave you a bell of hay and I fed you. Come on now. Hope you enjoyed the video guys. Thank you for watching. We'll see how this goes. He looks like he's doing pretty good with it. I figured the first thing I'd do is when I, what he would do when I put it in here is he would beat it up. But I'm sure he will at some point, but he's occupied right now because he's uh, he's got some fresh hay. There's some Johnson grass in here and there's some Bermuda grass. This was harvested right here off of our property in one of our uh, other pastures where the bison can't get access to. So nice to have our own hay right here. And we got this feeder. It's close at Davis, which is nice because it's so close. It's still watermelon. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you haven't, hit that subscribe button. Follow us along, guys. We're raising these awesome animals right here. There's no cooler animal in North America raising the American bison. Thank you, guys. You're not getting worked, I promise. Come on. He always comes up to us.